Hello everyone and welcome back to the Digital YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about how you can record your screen and your talking head shot at the exact same time. So traditionally I was matching up a QuickTime screen recording with a camera recording from my DSLR and while this looks beautiful it is quite time consuming because you have to literally sync up the two clips whereas Loom is amazing because it allows you to do both at the same time as well as being completely free so if you didn't actually have a video editing software on your computer this is going to help you out so much and lots of other benefits which we're going to get into in just a sec so if you are a teacher a student or a lecturer i think this is going to revolutionize your process of getting things online if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is megs and every week i release tech tutorials helping you do digital better guys so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to loom.com and install the loom browser extension once you've done that you will see that it appears up here with this icon and anytime you click on that it's going to take you to loom here you of course get the option to record your screen only your screen and your camera or your cam only so let's pop on screen and camera and there you will see my face appears on the bottom left hand corner so from here, you're able to actually go over that place where your face appears and you can make your face bigger or smaller. You can also click over here to go full screen and here you can see it's just my face. If you want to kind of mix it up between a screen sharing view as well as a view that's actually a combination thereof. If you click on this little person icon and then back on one of the big or small avatars, there you will see it's actually just using a profile picture, which you can easily change by clicking switch photo. And then finally, you can also add a frame. So let's do a 2021 frame that is super cute and switch it to rather being smaller. So there you can see I've actually applied a little frame. So quite sweet, even if it's a little gimmicky. Cool, but you guys get the picture. So there's both this menu in the bottom left hand corner as well as this menu over here, which allows you to pick if it's screen and camera or one or the other. And then the other menu which appears is this left hand side menu, which is wonderful because the pause button actually allows you, if you are teaching something, you wanna look down at your notes, have a cup of tea, do your thing, you're just gonna simply press pause and that means that your editing is going to be kept to a minimum because you're not recording all those blank spaces like you would be doing on a camera for example so let's say that we are in fact ready to record we're going to click start recording and it actually counts you in so you have plenty of time to get ready hello everyone and welcome back to the digital youtube channel how great is that? So then as you see here, if you hover over the stop sign, it appears with all of these different options. And if you've made a boo-boo, then obviously just hit that cancel or trash option. So there is also a drawing tool which makes it even easier to teach online. So for example, here we can pop the drawing tool on and I can say to you, okay, well, this is actually gonna be the dashboard that you guys are gonna see. And here, once you've actually uploaded something or recorded something, it's going to appear in your folder. So it's actually kind of archiving everything for you, which if you're bad at organization means that anything that you record gets uploaded to this exact same repository. And it's actually got a folder system here as well. So that's going to make it super easy for you to stay on top of your screen recordings and they don't just get dumped into your downloads or desktops or wherever they currently get dumped. So that is also really, really handy. The other thing that I must say I do love about Loom is that it does have basic video editing software. So in addition to you being able to pause the video, you can actually trim it at the same time. So this is all done online. And then once you have had a recording, so for example, let's open this one. You'll see here I'm actually then able to go into the video editor simply by clicking something like trim and start trimming and then anything that appears within this red section you can actually then just click remove. So let's just say cancel to that and return to the video. So if you are happy with your video you don't need to do any trimming or editing 
you're actually going to be able to manage the access control in a way that you're not able to do on YouTube or Google Drive. So that is one of the key benefits is you can also add a password in Loom or you can only share with certain email addresses. So it does add a bit of an additional layer in terms of who you're sharing your content with and it hosts it online. So if you don't need to have it on YouTube or Google Drive, it saves you from having to upload footage constantly because it is actually already hosted somewhere. So you could, for example, just click a copy link and share that with your students, or you could add the password and sort out custom access. It does also have viewer engagement, which will give you a good indication of where the people are accessing and watching the video. And then over here, you can simply click download. So because I'm going to be using Loom for my YouTube videos, I would of course have to download the footage. So I couldn't sadly keep it online, but if you click here, download, it just says, please don't close the tab while your video downloads. And there it's actually going to be popped into my downloads as well. So I must say, I really think that the ability not to have to sync things together is really going to be amazing, as well as that pause functionality, which it is really going to make video editing that much more seamless for you. It's also super handy if, for example, you outsource your editing because you are then by no means going to confuse your editor with different sets of screen sharing footage, as well as talking head footage. It's matched automatically, and then you can also just share the link with the editor from Loom directly and they're going to be easily able to have that function be outsourced for you and hopefully make your job that much easier. There is also an archive section so if you're not yet ready to delete something completely you can simply archive it and then have it be found here and then there's also a start library maybe of your favorite clips that you've recorded. So it's really making it easy for you to then be able to find things at a later stage. Let me know in the comment section down below, especially if you are a lecturer, student or teacher, if this is going to help you, if it's a game changer, if you had heard of it before or if it's actually something that's brand new to you. I would love to hear that it's going to add value in your life because you guys know that that's what this channel is all about. If you've not yet done so, please do give this video a like and subscribe if you are not yet already and I cannot wait to see you in the next video so that we can continue to doing digital better. I can help you out I can help you out I can